Hello, hello, hello. So it's me, Lerada, African Hair Guide. So I wanted to make this video talking about essential oil usage. I realize a lot of people actually don't know how to properly use essential oils. Um, so I'm surprised I haven't made a video about this much sooner on the channel. But I, 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 I remember thinking about it, but I just never got around to it. But anyways... Um, this video isn't going to go in depth or anything like that. It's just a basic one on one, like fundamentals of how to use essential oils. So, number one, um, what are essential oils? Essential oils are very, very concentrated, potent oils that ha are basically the essence of whatever the origin of the oil comes from. So, for instance, eucalyptus essential oil. Now notice a lot of essential oils tend to come in very small quantities such as this. This is a um, half fluid ounce. Wow, it's not even one ounce. It's half a fluid ounce. Um, and this is Aracasia, I believe it's pronounced. Um, I use a couple of their uh, essential oils. I get this from Ingles. Which isn't a very popular grocery store chain here in Atlanta, but they they're around here and there. And eucalyptus is fairly cheap. I get this for like five dollars and some change. Um, but I'm sure, pretty sure you guys are familiar with other essential oils such as lavender, tea tree, peppermint, um, and things like that. So um, what I'm realizing is that a lot of people are trying to use these oils directly on their scalp, their hair, and things of that sort. Um, you probably shouldn't do that, especially with really strong essential oils like peppermint and tea tree. Um, even though tea tree and peppermint are great for promoting scalp health, if you apply it directly to the scalp, especially if you have really sensitive skin, it can actually add to your issues and cause irritation, and um, other problems with um, using it. So, the reason for this is because essential oils are meant to be diluted in something. Most essential oils, I, I want to say all, but I'm not particularly sure about that. Um, but yeah, most essential oils are meant to be diluted. How do you dilute essential oils? They need to be diluted in some type of carrier oil. Now, this is if you're going to apply it to your scalp and hair and all that. There's many other uses for essential oils, including I've used essential oils in my laundry. You can add it to, you know, cleaning um, solutions and things like that. So it's all different types of uses that you can use for your overall life, well-being, and things like that. So you can just look at research it, look it up if you're interested in all that. But I'm just going to be talking about the hair aspect of it. So carrier oils are the oils that we are probably most familiar with on here, which include extra virgin olive oil, coconut oil. Please don't use coconut oil. I, I ain't crazy about that. Um, avocado oil, sunflower oil, macadamia nut oil, um almond oil like all the major oils that we are used to using even shea butter if you if you're into that um castor oil castor oil is a good um common uh carrier oil so what you do is not well actually the difference between carrier oils and essential oils is that carrier oils are designed to you can use them by themselves but if you want to add your own benefits to them um, and add particular properties such as like anti-inflammatory properties, antibacterial, antifungal, um, what else they got? Other stuff. You got, look, y'all can research this on your own. Then you do your research and find a compatible essential oil such as tea tree, peppermint, eucalyptus, okay? And you literally just put a few drops into whatever oil that you're using. Now, in this four ounce bottle, I typically use about anywhere from 10 to 20 drops of an essential oil. They do have recommended measurements that you should use for um, mixing and diluting your essential oils um, into carrier oils. But I don't really go for the specifics. I just kind of eye it. And I've learned with practice that if I want um, my essential oil to be more prominent 
in my carrier oil, then I will put more, probably around 20. If I don't want it to be as prominent, like for say peppermint, because it's so strong, so overpowering with the, the aroma, um, or even something like tea tree, which the smell I'm not too crazy about, then I'm a little on the lighter side with diluting it. So I'll probably do about 10 to maybe 12 drops of that in a four ounce container. Um, what else should I mention? Um, be careful with some plastics containers because um, essential oil can eat through certain plastics. I know. Sounds crazy. Um, also, you should make sure you dilute these essential oils because um, essential oils, like I said, are very, very potent. They're very concentrated. I believe one drop of peppermint essential oil is the equivalent... Well, it requires... No, no, no. I think it's the equivalent of 22 to 23 cups of peppermint tea. I believe I read that somewhere. I don't know if that's valid or not, but that's what I heard. I also heard that it takes about 258 leaves of peppermint leaves to make like one ounce of peppermint oil. I believe Some, something crazy like that. So that's why these oils are so expensive. And that's why you should dilute them. Because if you're not diluting them, number one, you burn it through your oil and wasting your money. Number two, um, it's probably not good for you because if you absorb too much of these essential oils, it can get in your bloodstream or actually it will get absorbed into your bloodstream. It can become toxic if you have too much of it in your bloodstream, which can lead to a lot of other health issues that you probably don't want to deal with. And it's funny because people always attribute, you know, health issues and health problems to all these chemicals and things like that. But these natural things, you have to be careful with, with natural ingredients and products as well. Um, also, I should mention, if you are breastfeeding or pregnant, you probably want to avoid um, using most essential oils. Um, consult with your doctor, medical, professional situation. Um, but again, because this stuff is really, really potent, you don't want it. You don't want that passing through to your unborn child or to your breastfeeding child. So. Um, yeah, please do your research, people. Please do your research. Um, and I'm trying to think what else should I mention about this stuff. Um, that's it. It does, it really does not take a lot of essential oil. It, it like literally 10, 10 drops is intense enough. Trust me, 10 drops of peppermint oil in this, you gon' you're going to smell it. You're going to feel it like it's a lot. Okay, don't be fooled by these little tiny containers. Um, I particularly like eucalyptus oil. Um, I tend to have a lot of sinus congestion anyway. So mixing this in my leave-in spritz that I spray on my hair every day, um, it's just a nice refreshing scent. And then I also believe it has some antimicrobic antibacterial properties as well. I'm always working out. So I use a little bit of this in my daily spritz um in my hair just to um uh, help alleviate any um sweat odor and anything like that that I might have in my hair in between washes. I don't know if it really works. I feel like it works. I feel like I, I never smell my hair and people never be like, ooh, your hair kinda smells a little funky. So I don't know. I feel like it works. Um uh, I also use spearmint oil. I've just gotten into using spearmint oil. It's a great alternative to peppermint oil if you aren't too crazy about the scent or the heavy menthol of peppermint oil but you still like the benefits of it this is like a like a milder version of it um it, and the smell isn't as intense or overwhelming or overpowering so that's why i like this um just a light refreshing aroma and so that's really all i do with essential oils i don't really go too crazy um outside of that uh sorry i couldn't be more detailed with the specifics on measuring how much to use and, and all of that but um again do your research on this stuff guys i'll just be putting stuff in your hair uh you know everyone's always concerned about parabens and sulfates and all of this and the cancer causing but you know you have to do your research on natural stuff as well okay 
Um, so yeah, that's it. Uh, dang, this video is 10 minutes. I didn't even think it was going to be that long. But y'all have a great night. Um, for those of you who are on my gaming channel, I will be on tomorrow, Sunday, for Fright Night Sunday. Uh, we will be sipping some vodka. We will be playing a plethora of games. Um... Including but not limited to Resident Evil 2, uh, The Sims, Dying Light, and maybe something else um, if we have the time and whatnot. So, um, everybody else, thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting. Y'all have a great day, great evening, and I will see y'all on the next one. Until then, y'all be blessed. Bye.